fast through this. I could it's I can drink through it fast. So I kind of have to watch out. I don't know As yet. As Senor Blanco said this weekend, I need to slow down. <laughs> you move too fast, son. I should, and we're going to put a post up on the website about this. I should mention real quick. That's a good point. Before we get into the film, um, let me just take a few minutes. We, The Tuesday Night Cigar Club made a, a, a voyage out to McGregor, Texas this previous Saturday. Tobacco Junction. Tobacco Junction in McGregor, Texas. They have a lounge there, a cigar lounge. And we went to a blending seminar by Senor Jose Blanco, the professor, the tobacco whisperer, um, where uh, anybody who's, you know, somewhat familiar with cigars and culture is familiar with Jose Blanco, uh, formerly of La Hora, formerly of uh, Hoya de Nicaragua. Now he's uh, started his own company and his, his, his first release, the La Senoral. Um, it was an amazing experience. I think we oh, all yeah. kind of had our minds blown. One of those things where you walk in thinking you know shit, and you walk out, wow, I really didn't know anything. Yeah. Um, although I got two out of the five. You um, did. You uh, did. Real you quick, did. Uh, the, he, he gave everyone in attendance uh, not only some La Cienero cigars, but a, uh, a cigar with five different wrappers on the outside. And basically, his seminar is going through and tell, asking the group what you're experiencing in those five different wrappers, having you guess what countries they come from, what kind of seed, um, what just the flavors, what yeah, flavors, what flavors um, and, just, and just kind of taking you through the cigar smoke experience as a whole around that uh, kind of education. Yeah. And it was phenomenal. I encourage you, if you're anywhere within, if it's in your state, well, what I really liked about it was that even even people that you could tell who have been smoking for decades and know their and and know a ton more than you, they were still, you know, wrong on some of these. They were still wrong on some of these yeah. questions, and so I was just like, wow, you you can always learn something. Yes. You remember that though when they it was I think it was the fourth rapper in, and all those chumps were like Ecuador and Nicaragua. And Boy called it. I look over at Tut, and I'm like. Mexican baby, it's a Mexican, <laughs> it's a San Andreas Mexican rapper, I'm like Mexico. But then you know, so he goes through, and I'm the only one right. He's like, whoever said it was from the land of tequila and margaritas? <laughs> what do you mean, whoever said it, it was me? It was just one dude. Give me some. Uh, I'm so proud of myself. And then I think the next one was the Ecuador Habana. I, I got right, but it, it was it was phenomenal, and the staff there was amazing. We had never been out. It's a yeah. shame we live so close. We haven't been out there. Uh, it's not that much of a trek, and it's just a phenomenal cigar lounge. It was a great day. Uh, I love the fact that if you if you go and you meet the guy, uh, it's not going to be like a little five second. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for giving me your money, and then he moves on. He actually took the time and walked around to everybody, got everybody involved with, it, asked questions of people. Where are you from? How are you doing? It, it was a good experience, and, the, and like you said, the staff there at McGregor's, same way. Came up to us, what can we do for you? How are you it, doing? They, do you enjoy this place? They were, they were so helpful, and, uh, you know, just um, like a lot of small towns and area, it's a BYOB, a bring-your-own-beer establishment. Yeah. So, you know, we brought in we brought in our whiskey, and, you know, they're, they are very quick to give you cups and ice, and it was just, uh, it, couldn't, it couldn't have been a better thing. Yeah. And, you know, we had met Jose Blanco two years prior at, at Cats Fest, our Facebook group, uh, in San Antonio, and we were in line to speak with Jonathan Drew, Drew Estate. We ended up, inadvertently, Jose was hanging around the line, just staying behind the, the barrier there. We ended up hanging around him for a couple of hours. Yeah, the line was moving so slow, so and we he made, actually got to talk to him for and a he long made, time. And he made such an impression on us, and especially Tuttle, i, I got to mention him. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm totally uh, I'm still I'm still debating this with my wife. On our she's on our drive not, home, she's um, not sold on it. On our drive home, Tut was seriously considering. Actually, I think mentally plotting out a a chest tattoo of, of the professor, <laughs> like a centaur. A Is that centaur. the horse body with with Senior Jose Blanco's body. torso and head? With that uh, European or that. Uh, Latin American way of the way he holds that. Yeah, the way he holds his cigar is so classy. He puts us all to shame. I mean, oh, the guy's yeah. just. Um, and I will share this, and then we'll move on. Uh, at the end of it, he asked, what, he asked the group, what did you learn? He asked everybody in the room, 50-plus people, what did you learn today? And I learned so much, I, didn't, I think a lot of us didn't know where, yeah, it's hard yeah, to, how to even respond. But the one thing he went around the room was, if your cigar is perfect, perfect draw, perfect flavor, 
perfect aroma, perfect strength, perfect construction. If you have the perfect cigar, what is the one thing that can ruin it? And everyone was just kind of stumbling over their words and, well, if it unwrapped, he's like, no, 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 it's, it's perfect. Humidity, storage conditions. And yada, 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 the answer was, the only thing that can ruin a perfect cigar is if you're sitting next to an asshole. Which explains and why we, I've never had a <laughs> cigar yeah, taste right yeah. at this point. We all looked at each other like, that explains <laughs> it. <laughs> you just summed up our Tuesday night. That's why we never had a good, you know, the perfect cigar. So we went to this, you know, hey, we're going to learn where we can get good cigars. <laughs> oh, we've uh, had, it's right. not the cigar. No. It's just a never big, ending quest. It's just a big group of assholes. <laughs> so I guess we got to go elsewhere to smoke it, but nobody else hangs out with us. So here we are. Cigar purgatory. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, just a quick shout out. Go uh, befriend Jose Blanco on Facebook. Um, he does these events all over, and I'll tell you what, his cigar is phenomenal. The La Cienor was, we're going to actually do it. We asked, Tuttle was smart enough to ask the man uh, if we were to review the cigar here on the show, what movie and drink would he pair it with? Yeah. And we felt kind of badass because that's the drink that we brought to the party. I still, when I got back home, I'm like, I wonder if he saw. I, the, I don't know if he saw. saw it. The thing we had the a, we did have like, a, a bottle of Woodford Reserve on the table, but we weren't really talking to him by the table. But maybe he's that smooth of an op. He's a smooth he's operator. He's a smooth operator, man. Uh, I'm telling you. So we won't tell you the movie. You are a man, Senor Blanco. Um, <laughs>